Okay, time for your first maths lesson. Today we're looking at I can use a number line for addition. So we're going to be using a number line to solve addition problems. I know some parents might use the column method, and perhaps when we get to year five and six, we will use the column method. But right now in year three and year four, we use the number line and we use the partitioning. So today's focus is number line for addition. Addition is really important. You never know what situation you might find yourself in. You might not have a calculator. It's a really important skill to get used to. So this is how the number line works. First of all, I need myself a number line, okay? Now, I've got to think to myself, I'm adding these numbers on this number line. So which number am I going to start with? Well, if I had the calculation 23 and 2, I'm not going to start with 2 and add on 23. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, no, no. That would, would take way too long. What we would all do is put 23 in our head, 23, and we'd add 2, 24, 25. Good. So I start with the bigger number. So I'm going to take the bigger number of the two of these. If I look at these, I can tell the bigger number is going to be 234. Great. I can't put anything at the end yet, because that's where I'm going to find my answer over here. So my job now is to add 169. So I'm going to start with the hundreds. Add 100 to 234. Well, this should be pretty easy. In 100, there are no ones, there are no tens, and there's 100. So I'm going to be adding no ones, no tens, and 100. And we know that 2 and 1 is 3. So it just becomes 334. If you found that part a little bit tricky, probably a good idea now to just practice a few uh, addition questions with 100. In fact, you could all have a go. So if I had this number, uh, if I had this number, if I have this number, uh, and I've got this number, Okay, and all I'm going to do each time is add 100. Why don't we do this together? Uh, well, actually, not together. Why don't you pause now? Have a go. Pause. Now that you've completed it, if we come back, remember my ones, my tens, they're not changing. All I'm doing is adding one to the 100 column. So that would become 245, that would become 471, that would become 169, and that would become 845. If that's something you're finding a little bit difficult, it might be worth just going over that a little bit now. But for the rest of us, let's carry on. So get rid of that nice clear working space. I've added my 100, that's gone. What I've got to do next is add the 60. Same thing as the 100s. I'm not adding any 100s, I'm not adding any 1s. I'm only adding 6 to the 3, uh, to the 10s column. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh yeah, that would become 394, okay? 30 add 60 is 90. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, make sure I show that I've added that. That's gone. Next thing I'm going to do is add the 9. Uh-oh. 4 add 9 blows my mind. It's tricky. I find that hard. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my number bonds to help me. I'm hoping that all of you are screaming at home, number bonds. So I think about my number bond. What's my number bond for 4? Well, my number bond for 4 is 6. So if I add 6, okay, that gets me to 400. And what have I got left? Well, 9 is 6 and 3. We found that out from earlier. Um, so I've got three more to add. So now I've added 166, 7, 8, 9. I've added 169, gets me to 403. Number bond is another one that we need to make sure we're happy with. Okay, a number bond is a number that gets to a target. So for example, I might have number bonds to 10. That's two numbers that I add together to make 10. So 2 add what equals 10? Well, 2 add 8 equals 10. So 2 and 8 are number bonds. 5 and 5, 4 and 6, 3 and 7, 1 and 9. Okay, these are your number bonds. Might be worth having a little practice of that. We sometimes do it to 100 as well. In fact, it's really handy to know that. So 20 and 80, 50 and 50, 40 and 60, 90 and 10. Really please practice those at home if you're finding those a little bit hard. Number bonds are really essential. As we do more and more math lessons, you'll see how useful they are going to become. Okay, we've got our answer. We've used the number line. I'm going to leave that up there as an example. And what I'd like you to do now is have a little go at some of your own questions. So we're going to start with some simple ones to do on the number, uh, number line. So we'll have, um, uh, we'll have this as our first one. We'll have um, uh, this as our uh, next one. Then uh, going a little bit harder, coming uh, over here, we'll have, uh, we'll have this and we'll uh, end up on a nice um, simple one. 
There we go, so pause now, have a little go at that. Okay, now that you've had a go at all of those questions, let's review it and let's see how well you did with those. So for each of these, I'm gonna draw myself uh, a number line. So 24 out of 57, I'm gonna have my 57 first, uh, I'm not getting to anything, I'm gonna add 24. So I'm gonna add the 20 first, so 50 and 20 equals 77, brilliant. Now, do you know what? I'm going to use my number bond. So I've added 20. I'm going to add a 3 and a 1. So 77 out of 3 is 80. 81. Brilliant. Okay. Next one down here 78 out of 35. So I'm going to put the bigger number at the start 78. I'm going to add 35. Ooh, 70 and 30 are number bonds. Brilliant. So when I add the 30, I'm going to get to 108. And then when I add the five, well, I know my number one there is, I'm going to do two and three. So add two, add three. So 108, add two is 110, add three is 113. Okay. Let's check that we've got these ones over here, right? I'm going to rub this off it's starting to look a little bit messy. Let's have a go at 234 out of 673. Now, did you put the bigger number first? I hope you did. 673. Adding 234, well do you know what, I can add that 200 straight away, 600 add 200 is 800, so 873, add 200, there. Next, the 30, so, oh, lucky me, number one again, didn't mean to do that, but they're popping up all over the place, aren't they? So, if I add 30 to 873, it'll go up to 903, um, what have we got left? A four to add, well, three, add four, 907. Okay, did you get the same answer? Last one, 145 out of 337. I'll tell you what, let's do it up here because I'm not sure where the camera goes to. So, 373, I'm going to add 100, which goes to 473, going to add um, 30, because I'm going to do my number ones, so that's 30 and 10. Which is going to get me to 503, 10, it's going to get me to 513, and then we've got 5 to add, which gets me to, sorry, I did that bit wrong, which gets me to 518. Okie dokie. Now, probably I will leave a few questions on the board for you to have a go at, but do you know what? Just doing my questions. There are way easier ways, way more fun ways to do it. If you've got any dice in the, uh, the house, what I would recommend you to do, get your dice, uh, you roll it. Okay, so let's say I roll my first one, uh, and it gives me a, a two, I roll the second one, gives me a three, I roll the next one, and it gives me a six, okay? I could say, right, well that's 236, roll them again. This time I've got a, uh, a five, uh, this time I've got myself a, a four, and then I roll myself a one, brilliant. 236 and 541. We can keep doing this and practicing it as long as you want. Keep using the number line to solve the problem. Uh, you could also, wouldn't take you too long, just get a sheet, okay? And I would simply divide it up like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Cut them all out. Got yourself a load of little numbers. Yeah, just pick them out of a bag. You can make random numbers in any way, shape or form. But I'll just leave you a few questions to have a go at, and then um, I'll pop the answers down for you. So, we'll have a go at, um, let's have a go at, okay, pause, have a go. Now that you're back, Let's have a find out what, what each of these ones is. I'll do all my uh, number lines for you down here. So, 457, I'm going to add 200, gets me to 657. I'm now going to add my 30, which is going to get me to 287. And then, done that, done that. I'm going to add the 4, but do you know what? I'm going to add the 3. And a one. So adding the three is my number bond, gets me to 690, 691. Uh, next one, 562, add 154. 
five, six, two here. I'm gonna add the 100, gets me to 662, gone. Add the 50, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna do my number bonds, so I'm gonna turn that into a 40 and a 10, and then my number bond there, so 40 and 10. So add the 40, gets me to 702, add the 10, gets me to 712, and then I've got four left to add, which gets me to 716. So that's 716. 327, 3, 2, 7, add 100, gets me to 4, 2, 7, add 30, gets me to 4, 5, 7, add the 5, well, I'm going to do 3 and 2 for my number bonds, so 460, 462, nice and simple, 4, 6, 2.